What's up, y'all? It's Marissa Ray here, back with another video. I have been gone for some time. This I know. I have been gone because I was really busy with school, work, volunteering, trying to go to the gym, trying not to cry, trying not to hurt myself, just trying to relax and breathe because the semester is almost over. So... I wanted to come on here and do this video. Ah, ah, ah. But before I start, I would like for you guys to click the subscribe button. I would like um, the Marissa Ray family to grow because I would like to start doing other videos and like funny stuff and like cool stuff and cooking and workout routines and all this other stuff. Just for, you know, like, why not? I have so much to do, so let's do it. So, click that subscribe button. At the end of this video, if you want to see how I got this hairstyle, I have a video, a tutorial actually, on a flexi ride hairstyle, which is exactly what this is. It's not the same like Tom that I've done it. But, this is a flexi ride hairstyle. So, I will leave that hairstyle in the description down there. I will put a link down there to go watch that other video that I have so you can see how I got this hairstyle. So anywho, you guys read the title. This will be a few tips on how to grow out natural hair and basically to like maintain healthy natural hair. You feel me? Because if your hair ain't healthy, then what you doing? Like, what you doing? Like, 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 what you doing? If you want to hear my tips, my tips, my, my, my tips. Uh, 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 the my tricks up my sleeve about keeping natural hair healthy. Then keep watching, and we about to get started. Okay, so the very first tip that I will recommend to grow out natural hair. Water. You better drink you some water. You better drink water. Water will save your life. Water will help your body. Water will help your hair. Water will help uh, your skin. All right. And water will make you not be so mean to people. Water will make you be happy. Don't you want to be happy? I want to be happy. Water will do it for you. Drink water. On a serious note though, drink water because your body, period, we need moisture, obviously. Our body is like, I'm not sure the correct percentage, but our body is like over 50% water. Like, isn't it like 70 or 80% full of fluids? We have a lot of fluids in our body and moisture in our body keeps you younger, keeps you healthier. With your skin, it keeps your skin not, wrink not wrinkly, keeps your skin from being as dry, keeps your hair from being as dry. Duh, that's my number one tip. Drink you some water. Number two, what I recommend for healthy hair growth, natural hair, stay away from heat, okay? I know when I was first, like, when I didn't have a relaxer anymore years, years ago, when I had my last relaxer, I was like in eighth grade and I'm 21 now. But years ago, um... I did not, like, I used to put heat on my hair. I used to flat iron my hair a lot. And I also dyed my hair. Okay, so I'm going to combine those two. No, uh, try not to put any heat on it. And no chemicals. Like, obviously, no dye if you really want to grow it out. Especially not bleach. Especially not bleach. I'm not going to say that you can't at all. But I'm just going to say that it delays the process of your hair growth which it truly does because it's chemicals and it's tearing and breaking the um connected vines of your hair i don't know if that's right but <laughs> it sound good so i'm gonna say it it ain't it, it breaks the it just breaks your hair so stay away from heat and stay away from dye or chemicals on your hair period number three Something that I recommend for healthy hair growth is 
Again, keeping your hair moisturized, but not just water. I'm sorry for this interruption. So anyway, where was I at? Three. Keeping moisture on your hair, okay? By that, I mean, especially for black folks, natural hair, you know what I'm saying? You need to make sure your scalp is moisturizing, your hair has plenty of moisture, no matter what style you're doing, okay? I'm not going to say that you can't ever put heat on it, but look at her. But if you do want it to grow, stay away from heat. But say if you do flat iron it once or twice, because you know sometimes you want to flat iron your hair. Say hi, pudding. Come on, baby. I know you want to say hi. Look at you. You're so cute. She's so pretty. I love you. She's such a cute girl. High five. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you, boo. Love you. Anywho. But keep your scalp moisturized and your hair moisturized with, um, I recommend using Shea Moisture. And I like Cantu, but I did realize that when I was using Cantu, it did not um, keep my hair as moisturized as Shea Moisture does. Because Cantu is more water-based. Shea Moisture is more a little bit more oil-based. Just keep your scalp oiled and keep your hair with moisture on it. Number four. I recommend a co-wash between washes, between your regular wash day. I usually typically try to wash wash my hair with shampoo and conditioner once every two weeks, okay? In between that two week period, that one week mark, I like to use a co-wash. The one that I use is like Eden, Eden Cleansing Co-wash or Conditioning Co-wash, something like that. I use that one and it's also a detangler so you can and it you use that on your scalp as well like you don't use a regular conditioner on your scalp but you do use a co-wash on your scalp in your regular hair of course I recommend those products um, because it all ties back to moisture by keeping water and moisture on your hair it's gonna keep it from being dry and breaking so Although, you know, black folks usually don't really have to wash their hair that often. I don't have to wash my hair that often. She making some type of noises. I'm like, girl, what are you doing? Anywho. So, shampoo and condition. Next week, get some more moisture on it. Detangle it. And that'll keep it from not tangling as much. Keep your scalp from being as dry. If you get a dry scalp, just keep it moisture. It's it ties back to moisture, but I do recommend using a co-wash. Use a co-wash in between your regular wash. That is, that's number four. Number five. Okay. I recommend using a protein treatment mask. Um, I kind of, I don't do this, but it's something that I want to do to make my hair grow even more. Every time I use regular shampoo, I would like to use a protein treatment mask on my hair leave it in for about a day and then wash it out or rin rinse it out don't even wash it just rinse it out with water the next day and style your hair use your products as you usually would um that i wouldn't do when i co-wash my hair like i said i would just do it when i wash it protein treatments just help with restoring damaged hair or help restore um, moisture back into the hair that may have been lost even from using shampoo, which is kind of what conditioner does. But I like the protein mask because it just gives your hair even more strength. You know, protein is muscle strength. It, it gives your hair even more strength. So that is very helpful to your hair and to help with growth of your hair. I started using that a lot when I first had cut my hair like when it was healthy and I first cut it it was so short it was like here but um it grew out so much when I was using those protein masks and oh that brings me to my next tip ha 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 number six clip your ends honey you got to clip them ends you got to let them dead ends go and I ain't just talking about your hair Okay, I know y'all seen them posts. They be like, clip your bad ends. You want to clip all your bad ends, not just your hair. <laughs> they ain't never lie. You want to let all that go. Bye-bye. Poof. I'm trying to find something. Ugh, never mind. I can't do it. 
but clip your ends. I recommend clipping either when necessary or because you really don't need to clip them that often. If it's a good trim, like one inch or so, one to two, one to two inches or so, <coughs> excuse me. I only recommend doing that like once every six months because you really don't need to clip your ends that often like except for when it looks like it's time like my hair right now y'all may not really be able to like tell but I think it's kind of time to clip my ends good because the last time I clipped them was probably about six months ago or so so it's definitely time and um I would like to clip mine and like I'm probably gonna cut like an inch off, like about this much off to where my finger is like right there that's how much I want to cut off and that helps because if your hair is growing and growing and growing and growing you will never get any length to your hair because it's gonna steady be breaking at the ends your ends have to be strength strengthened 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 strength strengthened 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 your ends have to be strengthened. Strength. I'm done with that word. Your in, your ends have to be strong in order for your hair to keep growing and for you to keep getting length to your hair. That's very important. And I'm still on this journey with growing my hair out. My hair is the longest it's ever been right now. I'm going to try to show y'all. My hair is definitely like the longest that it has ever been. And um, see it comes down like, I don't want to pull too much, but like to my boob area from the back it's like kind of really long but my hair is pretty it's it's growing good and I'm very happy it's the longest that it's ever been and I want my goal by like 25 I really would love for my hair to be like waist length I really really want to grow my hair out and I'm willing to do whatever I can and grow this mess out I want to grow it out I don't care how hard it is to take care of it okay I'm rambling but anywho was that number six or number seven that was six okay but number six yes Clipping your ends. You have to clip your ends. You have to get those dead ends off. You have to say bye bye, boo, mwah. See you later. You feel, well, not even see you later. See you never. <laughs> see you never. Um, number seven. What you eat really matters. What you eat really does matter. And fruits and veggies and obviously water obviously helps with keeping your body healthy just a, a healthy diet helps overall with your body period and it'll definitely help with hair growth fruits vegetables the right amount of protein good carbs i've um i don't know exactly what in particular helps with hair growth but i will find out but i know just having a healthy a nice balanced diet helps with your lifestyle period of course you know that always helps okay number eight Keeping your hair in a protective style. Braids, I freaking love braids. I'm a braid. I'm getting my hair braided soon, okay? And I'm also going to be braiding it again myself after that or getting more. I just love braids. And keeping your hair in styles, like just certain styles but not for too long, okay? Keep your hair protected where you don't have to touch it, where you don't have to comb it. That also helps. Number nine. Um, try not to do a whole lot of ponytails, which I am kind of at fault for that using brushes all the time like brushing your edges and uh combs and tight ponytails all the time and keeping it in for a long time like over a week is detrimental to your hair growth because it can consistently break your hair and that's something that i need to work on i need to not like i really need to like <laughs> work on not putting my hair in a bun or like ponytails all the time but sometimes they be just so cute you know but i want to try to just do more braiding styles and like if I do a ponytail or a bun or something, not make it so tight or, you know, just make it to where I can wear it without touching it at all. So, try not to do that. Ten. I want a tenth one. Ten. What's ten? Hmm. I would honestly just say for ten, just be gentle with your hair. Be gentle and learn what works for it. you have to learn your hair just what how you learn your body when you lose weight or when you trying to gain weight you have to learn your body learn how your hair learn what your hair likes take the time out to do that and be gentle with it when you comb it be very gentle start from the ends just take care of it like be gentle with it you know you have to be gentle with it because our hair you know obviously we don't think we have to pay much as much attention to it as other people but it still matters so you have to be gentle so, 
that will be my final tip, I believe, for how to grow out natural hair. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it will not be too long. We'll see once I get done editing it, editing, editing it and stuff. <sighs> Whatever. So, again, if you ain't... Nah, nah, I... So, it, it's, it's a problem if you ain't subscribed yet. Like, why you ain't subscribed yet? It's a problem, but, you know, it is what it is. So, again, I will leave the dis leave in the description a flexi rod tutorial, which is what I used for this hairstyle. And I will also um, leave in the description my social media accounts for you guys to follow and keep up with me. And I really appreciate you all for watching this video. And I think that's all I have to say. Hope you all have a blessed day or blessed evening, whatever time it is for you that you see this video. And catch me in my next video.